Hello everyone, Sherry Reese here coming to you with another video and today I have my full review of the essential phone. Is it my dream phone or is it a disappointment? Let's check it out. Okay, so first off, I've used this phone for around two weeks now and uh, in hand, fit and finish, materials, screen, battery life, call quality, all those areas, Essential nailed this phone. I can tell you right now that when I first saw the little leaked images of this <laughs> out of Eddie Rubin's pocket or whatever that, that picture was, um, I got excited. Really, really excited. I mean, any phone from the father of Android, Andy Rubin, is going to send fireworks throughout the whole industry. Um, and when I saw it on stage that first time, I was in awe. Uh, it looked like my dream phone full screen, crazy ass uh, materials, um, and like $700 for like a stock Android. Stock Android is something we've been asking for forever in a premium device, except for, you know, the pixels that got like a version of uh, stock Android with a like slight tweaks. This was supposed to be the one. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this screen. Uh, it is bright. Well, not super bright outside. It's not the greatest, uh, but it it just looks and feels so, so good in hand. Um, pretty much everything I can want from an actual feel of a phone, size of a phone, everything. It's like, it's on the money. Problems come about when uh, when we look at, like, the little thing. Because it, what it seems like is Essential, you know, was a company of 35 people before their launch when they went up to about 100, 120 people. They put all of their money into materials and build quality. They put no time and no money into software, including their camera software, before the launch. It just, they didn't, uh, they decided to just go full force, give as much as you can, put all their money into this thing, make it $700, make the build quality awesome, and then, you know, kind of skimp on the software because Android is really good. As if, you just, if you just build stock Android, throw it on a phone, it will work. Will it work the best? Probably not. And this has been the case with this phone. Uh, everything from like the camera, which is the only app they actually built for the phone was a camera app. And uh, like it just doesn't uh, doesn't perform properly. There have been updates and it's gotten better, but it's not gonna get much better than what we're seeing today. I could show you this picture, let it slide in here. Here you see a picture with the stock essential phone camera. You see a version of the hacked ported uh, Google Google Pixel camera on the essential phone and then you see the Google Pixel itself and you can clearly see the differences and the thing is that it's crazy that a hacked ported version of a Pixel app is working better than the stock app on a phone that just blows my mind but they, they're supposed to be getting better but it's really not all I've ever wanted it to be I need a good camera now like it's required I'm going on my honeymoon like two weeks and I'm not taking this, I'm taking my Pixel because I know for a fact I'm gonna get the shot I need with the Pixel. This one, it just doesn't cut it for what I would expect and I'm not even going down on it so hard because I think it will get better but I just don't think it will get good enough for what I'm looking for, especially with like the LG, G, LG V30 out there, especially with the new Pixel 2 coming. I don't know what I can do there. But where this thing differentiates is these two pins on the back that let you put accessories on the back, you know, like the 360 camera. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, let's pull it out. Here we have the uh, 360 cam uh, for the essential phone. Uh, that's just what it's called, the 360 essential cam, which you see the box over here. You see the box for the phone right here. Um, but, you know, just snaps. See these two pins? Two pins. Snaps right on. And the camera is supposed to just jump right on, which it takes a little while, but it does eventually go on. Uh, this is just an add-on. Uh, it was for 50 bucks, but now they charge, I think, 175 or 179 but it's $200 separately. As, a, as an accessory, I don't see it being, you know, essential, if you would, uh, but it's a very fun toy. And... Um, now, if you want to see my first look, my first unboxing of this thing, uh, the 360 camera, you can look at it right here. But another thing, uh, what I did was I did a camera test with the 360 camera. Um, and uh, and it came out okay. Um, it didn't come out super great. I'm going to 
play a screen cap of it for you guys right now so you guys can check it out. Okay, test number one of the 360 camera. First subject, Squirrel Man over here. I don't know if you can see that. There he is. There he is. Hey there, guy. How you doing? Now, this is a kind of low light. Well, the sun's right there, so I can go out into the actual sunlight and see uh, how good the camera is. I know I don't have to turn, but, uh, you know, so, because it sees 360. But, um, this is an interesting thing. We'll see how this video quality comes out. You guys let me know, too. All right, so you see, uh, that you know it's it's okay that was you know a screen crab of a 1080p thing but i it does record in 4k um you can see like the seam line is pretty much right down the middle of my face which is kind of weird um in pictures it doesn't really come out that way but in the video it's very clear and uh for the it's just a kind of a strange way to go about it um if you want to see the actual full video in 4k um, I have it right here. It's just an it's an unlisted uh, link, but you can totally just check it out right there if you want. Um, but you know, on a whole, for fifty bucks, if you have this phone for fifty bucks, it was definitely worth it. Uh, but for me, um, it's a fun toy, but it's just uh, it's just not enough to push this phone over the edge for me. Sadly, I will be sending this phone back to Essential. Uh, I really, really like it, and I really, really want to like it more. Everything about it is the dream phone, except for, you know, stock Android as a, on a whole, it's good software, but the tweaks that Google is doing and tweaks that other manufacturers are doing to the software make it better in a lot of ways. Uh, the bare bones attempt is a good attempt, but it leaves a lot to be desired. The camera app, you know, it's getting better, but it's not great. Um, there's been lockups, there's been restarts on the phone, all that stuff should get better, but, you know, it seems like they shipped it unfinished uh, but I really really hope they get it together and I will tell you with the billions of dollars they have I think they're gonna come out with another one of these next year and I think that one might actually deliver on the dream phone I can really hope so but for right now my all my eyes my eyes well not all of them just these two are all looking at the pixel 2 pixel 2 XL to be exact with the tall screen that now is coming uh, October 4th, they say, the announcement. So um, be on the lookout for that. I'm definitely going to get one, or maybe even the Pixel 2 and the Pixel SL, so I'll put a little video together. But um, as far as this, Essential, this was a really, really, really good try. And uh, for a first try. I hope I, I hope you guys pulled together. I wish you all the best. But for right now, it's just not for me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh Click like, click subscribe if you did, uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.